Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Today we're going to answer this question. What are the benefits of sleep? So to answer this question, we're going to have a look at our success criteria. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify the daily sleep recommendation, identify the important stages of sleep, and explain the benefits of getting enough sleep. So what you need, just a pen and a paper so you can write things down, have your finger on the space button, ready to pause. So, how much sleep? Well, this depends on your age. The older you get, the less sleep you need. As a general rule, this is really useful to remember. For teenagers, you guys need about eight to 10 hours per night. Adults, roughly seven to nine hours. So if we average those together, the general recommendation becomes eight hours of sleep every night. What does eight hours actually look like? For example, if you go to bed at 9 p.m. and you wake up at 5 a.m., that's eight hours. Go to bed at 10 p.m., wake up at 6 a.m. Go to bed at 11 p.m., wake up at 7 a.m. Go to bed at 12, wake up at eight. Pause the video, think back to last night. What time did you go to bed? And what time did you wake up? Did you get eight hours sleep? So eight hours is important, but it's not only about quantity, but also quality. So here we can see the stages of sleep. We have five of them. Stages one and two, you fall asleep, but you're not yet in a deep sleep. Stages three and four, you're beginning to get into a deep and restful sleep. Your breathing and your heart rate slows down. Now stage five, this is the important one. Your brain is active and this is where you dream. Your eyes move under your eyelids. This is called rapid eye movement. So this is the most important stage which gives your body the rest and recuperation that it needs. So which countries get the most sleep? So here we have two graphs. On this axis, we have the sleep duration in hours, and on this axis, we have the wake time. So we can see Australia, my country, we get about 8.1 hours of sleep per night, which is good. This means we wake up between 6.45 and 7. If we go down the scale a little bit, we can see Japan, they get roughly 7.5 hours of sleep per night, and they wake up around 7 o'clock. You can see the average here is a little bit below 7.9. If we jump over to this graph over here, this is about our bedtime. So again, we've got our hours of sleep on this side, and we can see Australia is up the top yet again. We're getting our 8.1 hours of sleep, going to bed approximately 10.45 per night on average. If we jump down again to Japan, you guys are going to sleep around 11.30, and getting 7.5 hours of sleep. The USA, you guys are somewhere in the middle. So isn't it interesting? Different cultures, different countries, different sleep routines. So, what are the benefits of getting our eight hours of sleep per night? So first of all, we're happier. Our risk of mental illness goes down. Our body fat percentage goes down as well. Our productivity during the day goes up. We are able to focus better. We have more energy throughout the day. Our risk of heart disease and stroke goes down, and our risk of getting sick also goes down. Our memory actually improves. We are less stressed, and our ability to maintain relationships is improved. Sleep is a magical thing. Pause the video and write these down. So as a quick summary, sleep helps us repair, rest, recover, and re-energize. All right, you made it, well done. It is quiz time. Let's see if you can answer this question. What are the benefits of sleep? We'll do this by reviewing our success criteria. Our first success criteria. Can you identify the daily sleep recommendation? Pause the video, write down teenagers, adults, and the general recommendation, and then write how many hours each of these needs. All right, so teenagers, you guys need about eight to 10 hours, adults seven to nine, therefore the general recommendation is eight. Second success criteria, can you identify the stages of sleep? So write down these two sentences and then fill in the blanks. So there are five stages of sleep, REM cycle, rapid eye movement, that occurs in the fifth stage. Third and final success criteria, can you explain the benefits of getting enough sleep? Pause the video, write down each of these words and sentences and then write an up arrow or a down arrow, depending on how getting enough sleep impacts these factors. Good luck. Alrighty, how did you go? So happiness goes up, risk of mental illness and body fat goes down, productivity, focus and energy goes up, 
risk of disease and just general sickness goes down, memory goes up, stress goes down, and our ability to maintain relationships goes up. All right, well done. So if you got all three of those success criteria right, you're now able to answer this question. What are the benefits of sleep? If not, rewatch this video and have another go. Thanks very much for watching PE Buddy. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. What would you like to learn about next? Comment below. Thanks everyone.